Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Before we start, don't forget to enter my giveaway. I will put link down below in the description box or card uh, at the end of this video so you can watch it and participate in that giveaway. But now in this video, we are going to review and try for the whole day this Gul Gourlain or Gourlain. I'm not really sure about how to pronounce this name, but this is a very popular primer that I really wanted to try for a very, very long time. And I'm excited to have it in my hand and try it out. We are going to do half of the face with the primer and the other half without just to compare and see which side is going to work better. To this product, I'm going to read on the Goulain's, Goulain's website what it says about this product. This is 30 milliliters. Goulain Lore, 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 can't pronounce it, is an embellishing makeup base sprinkled with pure 24 karat gold flakes, like the most luxurious jewelry pieces. The flakes were crafted into ultra sparking and ultra reflecting particles, then dispersed in a hydrating smoothing gel. The complexion is beauty filled, it glows with divine and unfailing radiance. Skin smooth supplies and satin ready for perfect, enhanced, and long lasting makeup. This is one of uh, Tati's favorite primers, and Tati is a YouTuber that I love watching, and she loves this primer. And I'm excited to try it myself. This has a floral scent, of course, uh, so it's very fragranced, this product. This is supposed to keep your face smooth and nice, and it's about $74. So let's open it. I have to be honest, I already opened it and swatched it. <laughs> I had to see how it looks. Look at this packaging. This is a beautiful packaging. And it is like, yeah, gold flakes in it. So let's put some in it. I don't know if you can see, but here it is. It feels very nice. It smells very nice and we are going to try it. I'm going to do this side with the primer and this side without the primer. And for foundation, I'm going to use one of my favorites right now. One of my favorites. I have a lot of favorites. This is Estee Lauder Double Way Nude and this is Water Fresh Makeup. Uh, this doesn't have as much coverage as the other Estee Lauder Double Way foundation. This is more watery. But I like it and it really, it has SPF 30, so it's good. And I used a lot of it, so we're going to shake it. So I don't know if you're supposed to shake this one or not, but let's use half of it. Let's use half on the face. I have to say that I already moisturized my skin. I don't know if you're going to see and notice difference. Or oh, it feels cooling and feels very nice on the skin. It feels very nice on the skin, I have to say. I like the feeling of it. I know, do you see any difference? So this side with the primer and this one is without the primer. This side feels very fresh and woken. Like this one wakes me up a little bit. This side feels a little bit dry. I don't know, I don't see any difference right now. Feels like this one feels a little bit more awake and it's a little bit, little bit tacky, so that's good. I like that. I don't know. Do you see any difference? Primer without a primer. Let me know down below if you see any difference right now on this side, comparing it to this side. So let's go in with the foundation. I'm going to shake it well and I'm going to blend it with my beauty blender. LA Girl Sponge. So we are going to do first on this side. So I'm going to change the side of this sponge and put the foundation on the other side. I really like this foundation, but I feel like I use a lot of it when I apply it on my skin. 
So right now I don't see any difference. Maybe this side looks more shiny than this one. Uh, and this side feels and looks more tight and awake and looks more fresh. That's what I see in my mirror when I look at myself right now. The pores are the same, so there is no difference, not even with the coverage. So far, so good. I'm going to apply concealer and the rest of the makeup and then I'll be back. Weird. Before I do rest of my makeup, I just want to say that I use this Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. And also I use this um, airspin, Airspun to set my makeup. And I used the same, this side that I use for foundation applying to the, apply the powder. And this side to I'll apply the powder on the other side. And blend the concealer, of course. Uh, this side with the... With the primer looks more fresh and awake i feel like it and more matte it doesn't look as shiny as and dull like on this side it, that's what i can see when i look at myself in the mirror i have to i also have to say that my foundation looks cakey here on this side without from the, uh, without primer and looks nice on this side with the primer i always use primers when i before my foundation it's because foundations without primers don't last on my oily skin oily t-zone and uh, this is a perfect moment a perfect way for me to really see if the primer really works so i'll go back and do the rest of my makeup and i promise then i will be back too so guys i'm back so if you hear something it's my children playing outside my room they're a little bit loud yeah and uh, i did finish my makeup the, right now it's almost 12 o'clock one minute left and we are going to wear this the whole day at least eight hours and see how it's going to look after eight hours and if this side with the primer looks better than this side without the primer right now i feel like this side is more firm and looks more fresh and of course the products were easier to blend on this side i have to be honest oh, it's itching bye bye and on this side it, the bronzer did cling to some parts and it was very e very easy no it wasn't it was a little bit hard to blend but otherwise uh, the face looks good we'll see i feel like this is a little bit more dewy than this side i did set everything with the revolution pro um, Supreme Matte Finishing Spray. I did use it because all of the face because I always set my face when I use the primer. So why wouldn't I do that today? But I'll go with my day today and see how this is going to hold up. We hope it's going to hold up because this primer is not cheap, but it feels good. It looks good, and I understand why people like it. But we'll see if the product works. For my skin, combo skin, oily T-zone and dry everywhere else. And of course sensitive is itching. Oh my god, it's itching here. And it is, my skin is sensitive and I do get breakouts like I have a big people here that I'm trying to hide. It's kind of hard and I just removed my makeup. That's good. That's, thank you so much for itching. Okay. Yeah. We'll see how this is going to look at the end of the day. See you soon. Hi everyone, I want to say I'm sorry, for some reason my camera stopped working here, so I'll do a voiceover. So I had this foundation on for over 9 hours and I do look very dewy, very shiny. It was very warm weather today, so I am very, very oily. But as you can see on this side where I do have the primer, the foundation did stay on the whole day and it looks very nice very smooth i do look shiny this is not an oil control primer it doesn't control my oils they do come through the foundation but the foundation didn't move it did stay on my face but on the other side where i don't have the primer the foundation did um, disappear in a couple of places i have some patches and it on my cheek and on my chin and around my nose it looks very cakey my under eyes look more tired on the 
on the side where where I don't have the primer. The side where I do have the primer, my under eyes look much smoother and more awake. I don't have those huge bags under my eyes. And I can actually say that I really, really like this primer. Definitely going to continue, but I do need a setting spray that will control my oils more because I do do look very shiny. Guys, uh, I give thumbs up for this primer. I really, really like it. It is a little bit expensive, so I don't like that, but it's worth the money. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell and see you in my next video. Bye everyone!